everyone and welcome to my channel DB Designs and Sewing Australia. I'm Deb. Welcome to any new subscribers and welcome back to anybody who is already subscribed and watches me every time I upload a video. It's most appreciated and thank you very much. Today I'm going to go through my makes for the week and the first thing I made was a shorts and top set for my grandson Madden so these shorts are the life so savory simple knit shorts now I make these in a size 5 for him even though he's going to be 8 because he's quite small and I've made them before for him and I usually put a cord through the front but I did notice when I was at his place a few weeks ago his mother kept on telling him to do up the cord on his pants so this time I decided not to put one on at all uh, this is an interesting pattern it has no side seams so this is the side so no side seams now I've previously made him a t-shirt in this fabric and when I was at his place I said why have you got on that t-shirt that's too small and he said because I really like it and I said, so would you like me to make your shorts and top in the same fabric? Uh, and we call it under the sea fabric, but it's obviously sea creatures. And so I've made those for him and a matching t-shirt. And this is the, it's the mini Rio Ringer tee by True Bias. And I looked up what size I made for him last time. And I had made him a size five and this is a size eight. And he's going to be eight very shortly. Hence why the t-shirt was way too small for him. And he was still wearing it. So I made him a new set in a bigger size. The next thing I made while I was procrastinating about getting started on the boiler suit, I was going through a box I have that has... Um, has a lot of off cuts in it. Not really big enough to make one garment, but big enough that you wouldn't throw them away or I wouldn't put them into the scrap busting poof or anything like that because you could make something with it or you could make something for a child with it. And I found I had this cotton sateen. Well, it looks a bit orangey on screen, but it's actually a magenta color. This is a magenta color and a teal. And so I had enough to make the sleeves, the front, the collar, the back yoke. And I did go and buy some navy blue of the cotton sateen from Spotlight. And so it only cost me $16. So I'll insert some photos, but I'm at absolutely loving this this is a harlow shirt the same as what i'm wearing now but it's in a cotton sateen and i do like a cotton sateen and i've made pants that's how come i had the magenta and the teal color but they seem to go really baggy in the bum after you've worn them for a bit so i'm thinking maybe a jacket or a top would be a better choice and I wanted to use up the fabric and so I made this beautiful jacket I love it it's very very me to have all that multicolored and it's got the pink pockets on the front so really happy with that and then I did start my um, boiler suit now the first thing I noticed about the boiler suit once I'd cut the pattern pieces out was that it has no dart and I don't really often sew something in a woven that does not have a dart. So I decided that I would create a dart in it. So I traced the pattern piece and I made a dart. And then I made a twirl. So I made up the pattern piece with the front dart. So now you can see, oh, it's very glary. 
Now you can see this has got a front dart and it fits perfectly. So now I have made the top part of the boiler suit. And I've put the collar on. There's the front bands. I've made up the sleeves. I just haven't put them on yet. I'm in the middle of um, putting the cuffs on them. So it's a full sleeve suit. I'll show you the... This is the pattern and it's the one the girl is wearing. So it's a full suit. And... When I went to cut it out, I thought, will I cut the medium or will I cut the large? And then when I looked at the pattern, I bought a pattern that's only got extra small, small and medium in it. So medium it was. And the only thing I've had to do so far to make it fit me is create the dart, the dart in that top. So I'm sure if I can get it to fit me in, a top, in the top part, then the pants should fit. I mean, it's easy to take them in if they were too big. It doesn't have inseam pockets. It's got a patch style pocket. As you can see from the line drawing and it's F, the one down the very bottom. So the front are patch pockets. So they probably are sewn into the side seam, but I'd usually it's got a fly front, so I'll make up the fly front, the front of the pants, and probably sew the crutch seam next, so that sew up the back crutch, make the fly, sew the, I guess it's called the inner seam, inner leg seams, so that the only thing that's open is the side seams. Because what I've discovered is this fabric is really quite fragile, so I won't want to have them tight or they're probably going to burst apart because there'll be too much stress on the um, stitching lines. So I need to make sure that they're quite loose in the legs and loose when you sit down. So, because that's when stress would go on them, not when you're standing up, but when you're sitting down. So. That's how far I am with this suit. Really pleased with it so far. But once again, I haven't made a big four pattern for a really long time. And it just makes me remember how complicated some big four patterns make things. Now it also had the collar that you sew the collar into the collar stand and then sew the collar stand onto the neckline and that's really not the way I sew up. I did it that way, but it's not really the way I sew up collars anymore. Now in hindsight, I really wish I had done the collar and the collar stand a different way. I really wish I had used the same method that the Aria button down has, which is to make the collar and the collar stand all one piece. Interface both sides by all means, but I just think it gives a much nicer, smoother look. So if I ever make this again, I will do that. A lot of hand sewing on this pattern, just like the big four patterns have. It just takes me back to when I was 16 and making dresses, dresses with collars, all different sorts of things and why it took three days to make something because the pattern was so wordy or maybe I just didn't know as much then as I do now and I just now I just do it usually however however I want to do it and sometimes I refer to the pattern and think oh have I skipped a step what am I supposed to be doing but it just they're making it more complicated than it is and I know we do complain sometimes about um, indie pattern companies not having enough instructions. Well, there are six pages like this on this. And the thing is, it's got all these instructions, but they're not even that good. And some of the things when I look at it, I think that doesn't even make sense. I'll just make it up and do it my own way. 
but a lot of hand sewing. So no such thing as a burrito method, no such thing as anything like that. Everything is turn that yoke to the inside and hand sew it down. And I don't mind the hand sewing. That's no big deal for me. I quite like hand sewing and I always used to, before all these other methods were created, I always used to hand sew all of my things down. I still sew, hand sew down all the bodices of the baby's dresses because they're just too fiddly to try and do any other way. So I would prefer to hand sew them down. It only takes a few minutes. So I made Madden's Under the Sea t-shirt and shorts outfit, my fabulous new Harlow jacket, which I'm just loving. And in the photo, I'm just wearing it with a pair of uh, navy blue pointy pants that I used to wear to work. And when I say used to, it's because since Christmas, since coming back from Christmas holidays, I have not worn my uniform to work at all. I have only worn um, my own me made clothes. Every day I have worn something that's me made and it just makes me feel so much better. So much better to wear coloured things rather than a grey or full grey or full navy uniform. It's really just not me. And so I'm much preferring to wear my own clothing. Work don't care. They used to, for the first week, they kept on saying, have you got a job interview? Are you going somewhere? Have you got a date? <laughs> I don't know what they thought. But, um, yes, they certainly makes me feel much better to wear lots of bright colours. And I did manage to get a bespoke box from the Daily Society. So I'm looking forward to that. And when I come back next week, I should have this full boiler suit finished. Hopefully it looks okay. No. Who knows? Only one way to find out. And this fabric, seriously, I think it cost me $24 altogether. So not very much money to work out whether or not it's really great. So everybody have a fabulous sewing week. I will see you all next week with my finished boiler suit and any other plans I've got for any other sews. See you all. Bye.